Scout. Both he and Malachi served Pac-925 as den chiefs. Amen. And of course, whenever there is success with our young people, it is because adults have planted seeds of interest in them. So a shout out to Pac-925, Cub Master Sonia Tunstall, den mother Reverend Angela Jackson, and den helper Reverend Benjamin Jackson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Since we're on that shout out of young people who keep their lamps lit, let us also let you be aware that there are some marvelous <laughs> academic achievers here in Friendship. Starting with Alexander Trey Williams III, Chatara Napa, Autumn Napa, Micah Patterson, Zayana Richardson, Taylor Harvell, Brian Harvell, Brianna Jackson, Brandon Point, Jules Mahan, Juliet Mahan, Thomasina Gosia, Tamira Gosia, Lauren Davis, Zane Tripp, Zarian Tripp, Caden Grayson, Ayana Peterson, Inaya, 
Did I say it right? I, I didn't say it right. I, she said, I got it right the second time. Peterson, Cordell Gaines, and Jeremiah Harrison. Come on, show your love to these trailblazers of love life. Amen. They're the ones that keep me going. Amen. Amen. Our text this morning for those uh, who are ready to hear the word of the Lord comes from Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 10. Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 10. Reading it this morning from the King James, uh, excuse me, English Standard Version has particular wording that fits this case today. Ten verses, but it tells a story. It tells a story about how important it is that we keep our lamps lit. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. Don't take your lamp without oil, folks. <laughs> But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. And all those virgins, virgins rose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said to the wise give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out but the wise answered saying since there will not be enough for us and for you go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. You may be seated in the house of God. We want to encourage you this morning as we celebrate Clergy Appreciation Sunday today and Glorify the accomplishments of PAC 925. We want to encourage you with these words. Keep those lamps lit. Keep those lamps. Don't, don't let nobody blow your lamp out. Make sure you got plenty of oil. Because the journey is not a short one. The day we honor in worship today the worship of our loving God by lifting up our appreciation for those ecclesiastical messengers we know and call clergy. We also worship God today for these little young men and young ladies who have traveled through PAC 925. Their job and task is on their honor to do their best, yes. to do their duty to God in their country. So today we not only honor the clergy, but we honor Trey and Jackson, Jeremiah and Brandon for keeping those lamps lit. We praise God and share our appreciation for the lamps of good works in their service in the community for earning their badges to show that they are maturing to be responsible citizens in our world. We thank God for the good works of these clergy who preach and who teach and who minister to us the word of God. Thank you, PAC 925. Thank you, ministers of congregational care here at Friendship, those who go by the name of Watkins and Clements Jones and Moody, Peterson and Pollard, Simpson and B and A. Jackson. Thank you today. 
thank you to the clergy of our community and those in our neighboring communities for keeping your lamps lit by sharing the word of God. Sharing this word to others to inspire us with God's love, to lift us up with God's grace and forgiveness and to deliver and preserve us with God's salvation. Thank you today, because today we want to celebrate the Christ-like qualities you have exemplified that encourages everyone, whether a part of the family of God called the church or citizens of our communities, that your good works have prepared us to be ready for the marriage feast. That marriage feast that comes when the bridegroom comes. See, our text this morning from Matthew 25 describes the benefits of keeping our lamps lit so that whenever the bridegroom comes, we are able to share in the marriage feast. Uh, stay with me now. I'm not just talking about marriage. I'm talking about another kind of marriage. A feast that everybody wants to participate in. Yeah. You see, Grandma used to say it this way. Everybody talking about heaven ain't going there. Yeah. But if you keep your lamps lit, you got a chance. Yeah. See, the bridegroom, which is the symbol of Christ, comes in the text with some close friends. The symbol of priest, the oil to head to the bride's house. The bride is the symbol of the church. Yeah. See, my dear hearers, we got a whole lot of people talking about I'm going to see Jesus. But if you ignore the preacher, you'll never get to Jesus. You see, Jesus brings 10 virgins to assist the bride in the church. Once arriving, at the bride's home, they engage in various ceremonies like praise and testimony. Various ceremonies like preaching and singing. Various ceremonies like talking about how good the Lord has been. Various ceremonies like playing stringed instruments and the percussion, doing various ceremonies, like praying to God on behalf of others. And the text says they do it while processing in the streets at midnight. Midnight, when no more crying can be done. Midnight, when whatever you're going through, you don't have time to think about it no more. Midnight. When you've been calling on preacher and friend, mama and daddy, BFF and anybody else, but they can't hear you because it's midnight. The virgins, symbolic of the members of the church and the healing power rested in the clergy regiment are to assist the bride for the event. All of them, the preachers and the members of the church, are expected to carry their own lamps. Yes. Notice I didn't say follow the lamp of the preacher. Everyone has to carry their own lamp. You see, my dear hearers, I believe in altar call. I believe in altar prayer. But if you got to wait to get here on Sunday morning, for somebody to pray over your sickness, you are a little bit too late. Altar prayer is not the time to get your healing. Altar prayer is the time to get some assistance with your healing. You see, God can't help somebody who doesn't already want to be helped. You got to be able to pray for yourself. Somebody's with me now. That's why your lamps got to keep burning because midnight hour is sure to come. Yes, these preachers and members and even these young men in PAC 925 have to carry their own lamps representing the assigned good works 
and keep them lit so that all can participate in the great feast. Yeah. Those who didn't keep enough oil for their lamps to burn till the bridegroom came was considered a wedding crasher. Yeah. Yes, you have some worship crashers. Yeah. Every Sunday somebody's got to say, we don't need all that noise. Wedding crashers. Why does the preacher have to yell at us? Wedding crashers. Why do they have to pray that way? Wedding crashers. Why is service done the way they do it? Wedding crashers. Those who come and end up ruining the marriage feast. As we come to celebrate us Clergy Appreciation Sunday, and recognize those little lamps from Pat 925 who celebrated their blue and gold banquet. We want to encourage clergy and Cub Scouts. We want to encourage disciples and neighbors. We want to encourage enemies and frenemies everywhere who persists in the midnight hours that if you don't bring a word of hope, to the disenfranchised, the abused, the suffering, and the loss, it means you did not keep your lamps lit. We want to encourage those wolves, those tigers, those den chiefs of Pac-9 to five to keep on doing their best, to do their duty to God and their country. We want to encourage those who minister the gospel and serve and assist the bride, call the church with their lamps of good works to maintain your responsibilities to perform good works works for the kingdom by keeping our lamps lit. Is there anybody here this morning that wants to keep their lamp lit? Is there anybody on our social media outlets that want to keep their lamps lit? Uh, today, I don't want a hand signal. I don't want a heart signal. I want you to use the fire emoji and let somebody know that your lamps are still lit. Mm-hmm. Yes, we want everybody to understand that when we as clergy, we as ministry workers, we as members of PAC 925 or whatever PAC or group you might serve in the world, you've got to keep your lamps lit. Here is why we got to engage in various ceremonies of life. Some process down the street of goodwill at the midnight hour, helping the least, the last, the lonely, and the unloved, while others process down the street of inspiration during the midnight watch. They are helping the depressed, those who are stressed, and those who just made a great big old mess. Yes, some process down the street Call the street of duty to clean up the trash, remove the clutter, and just brighten up somebody else's day. But whatever you do as clergy, whatever you do as scouts, whatever you do as believers, whatever you do as achievers, keep those lamps burning bright. Keep them lit, I tell you. First of all, keep a lamp. That light, that light that leads us uh, to do good works, uh, which ultimately protect others uh, from, from hurt, harm, and danger. Yes. These lights, if we keep them lit, uh, will help people to be protected uh, from the unpleasant and bad experiences uh, of life. Yes. Keep that lamp filled yes. with oil. Yes. That means the substance that keeps the fire burning. I don't know about you, but I feel the fire burning. I can feel the fire burning, and it's going to stay lit on my lampstand. Me, I just want to encourage that whether you are a preacher who inspires or a servant who does service for others, we are called 
to keep our lights lit, to keep our lamps burning. Why did you say that, preacher? Because we want to make our communities better. Young people, we want you to know that you make a difference even at your young age. We don't need for you to grow up. We need your sweet spirit right now. When Trey runs around the church, it makes me feel like running. When I see Jules and Juliet smiling on the post and doing their mime, it lets me know that I can still move and have my being. When I see a junior doc and a Brianna come at the last minute to serve us in spirit and in truth, it makes me say, here am I. Lord, send me, send me. Keep your lights lit. Keep your lamps lit. Because those who keep their lamps lit, the text says they have wisdom. That means they are able to keep thinking about others. When you're wise, you're not always thinking about yourself. You're not always pining about what's happening to you. You're worried about what's happening to your neighbor. When your lamps are lit with wisdom, you are morally straight to keep your dealings in the eyes of the Lord. When your lamps are lit with wisdom, you are active in doing the right thing in every situation. Keep those lamps lit, I tell you, by avoiding foolishness. That is like bringing, not bringing enough oil for the task at hand. This morning my iPad went completely out on me. And the devil said you won't be preaching today, but I got my notebook. I got the prayer warriors because I had some extra oil on the other side. Foolishness when we neglect our duties as ministers. Foolishness when we neglect our duties as a Cub Scout, whether it's a weed blow, a wolf, or a din. Well, uh, you've got to be lovers of God and not neglect our time to worship in beauty and holiness. It doesn't matter if you're sitting here live in the sanctuary or if you're sitting by your table at home. You ought to at least take off your robe and put on something decent even though you're sitting at home to let the Lord know my lamp is still lit for his glory. Well, uh, if we keep those lamps lit uh, for good works, uh, if we keep those lamps lit uh, with oil for our duty, if we keep those lamps lit, uh, trimmed with wisdom and readiness, uh, I got some good news I want to leave you with. Uh, there's a bridegroom coming. Uh, his name is Jesus. Emmanuel. If you keep your lamp lit, if you keep your lamp trimmed and burning, Jesus will come at the midnight hour. It might be bursitis, but the bridegroom will come. It might be arthritis, but the bridegroom will come. It may be bills are paid, but the bridegroom will come. It may be I can't act right, but the bridegroom will come. He's the symbol of God's kingdom prepared for God. Those who don't let the oil run out of their lamps. You see, my dear hearers, sometimes it's just important to keep the oil in your lamp. What does that mean, preacher? I, everything may not be right, but I can praise God because he's good all the time. What does it mean? I may not be thinking right. But I, my thought is that God is all right with me. Is he all right? Is he all right? Don't let your lamp hide under a bushel. Don't let your oil run out in this morning. Whose lamps did not fall asleep?
accept him as the Lord of your life, that you confess that your way of doing things has not been it, and you want your lamp lit with the love and grace and forgiveness of Jesus Christ. You believe that right now, you're on your way to a beautiful relationship. You're on your way to the marriage feast. We encourage you to contact us by the information we'll give you today at the end of this broadcast. We'll be happy to help you on your way. Those in the sanctuary will be more than happy. Our diaconate is standing. They are waiting for you. And all you have to do is raise your hand. They'll meet you. They'll minister to you in a way that can never be done. And I want you to understand, this is a loving relationship. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. And I dare you to try. God bless you and God keep you as our worship leader will close out our broadcast service. Thank you. 